Hello and welcome to this uh, interview session with All India Rank 6, so Dr. Suleh Shah, uh, who is with us today. And we are very thankful that he's here at the outset. Congratulations, uh, Suleh. And uh, uh, it's wonderful to talk to you. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure you're on the seventh heaven. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. I'm really, really glad uh, to be here. And first of all, really glad somehow these this three things happen. I had never thought that I would get such a good rank. Obviously, dreamt of something in the top 100, but not definitely not a single digit rank. So. I'm, I'm sure you deserved it. Yeah, I mean, it's when you get it, get through it, now. It it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's true, but all the time you yeah. hard work, yes. hard work and smart work that works, right? Yes, so, yes, uh, so like, you're from Gujarat. Yeah, so I did my UG. I'm originally from Ahmedabad. I did my UG from Ahmedabad BGMC and then BG in KE and Bombay. And currently, I'm in Bombay as working as SR over here. Oh, excellent, excellent. Which department are you yeah. in? General surgery. General surgery. General surgery. All right. We work yeah. in surgery in KEM, right? One of yes, our greatest yes. neurosurgeons, in fact, one of the greatest neurosurgeons in the world uh, was KEM head, Dr. Atul Goel. Um, yeah, he just retired. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah. just last, last, last year, I think so. Yeah. In fact, the head of neurosurgery, long before him, Dr. Pandya, he's a pen friend of mine. Oh. And he was also from uh, Ahmedabad. We're all from the same area in Hassan. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. So he, he reached out to me because I'm a Yagnik. And <laughs> a long history of people in, in came over there. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you have a long, long history. history. Excellent. So, excellent. <laughs> uh, so, Sulay, uh, uh, at the outset, how did you, how, let's just begin with the usual stuff. You know, how did you go about your yeah. profession? Where yeah. did you start? Uh, so to be very fair, uh, I'd given need last year also uh, as a fresher and I got a rank wrong rank of 259 and I decided to make a drop. But I didn't feel that I had done adequate preparation at that point of time. Uh, right. Although it was a good enough rank, decent rank, but so I thought that I should give it a more try. And so here we are again. So okay. I read on and off the whole year, if you can see that, way, but frankly, uh, the preparation that we do specifically targeted towards need was maybe around June, so three, three and a half months. So that is what I've started. Uh, but obviously the base started way back when you start reading uh, for MS only. So daily submission, those textbooks are always the base. So that is when you started. Yeah. And uh, how did you decide whether, did you decide you're going to go for INI specifically or NEAT? Was that a pre-plan? Mm, yeah, so I, I was always inclined towards uh, GI and Onco, and so most of the institutes that I prefer in GI and Onco, I'm not saying they're not good institutes in INI, but that I feel are better in NEET other than INI. So I never thought about INI. I'd given INI, I think, so both uh, December and the May, but I'd never prepped specifically for anything, just given for the sake of the exams. So I was always prepped for NEET. So for the sake of uh, people who haven't chosen fields yet, which institutes do you think for uh, GI and Onco? Uh, that you would prefer or uh, a good in the NEET exam? Yeah, so uh, obviously for NEET, GI is the first thing that everyone takes and is the best at present, at least as GB Pans. Uh, then it goes specifically to what region and what specifically your interests are. So there are a lot of good institutes, like, for example, ILBS is a very excellent institute for specifically hepatobiliary surgery. So I'm, I'm not saying it's a good institute because you don't learn on everything. But if you're interested in hepatobiliary only and you're going to pursue that for the rest of it, so it's an institute. There are a very lot of good institutes uh, for DNB also, so on and so forth. Similarly for oncology, uh, the top three, four institutes that we say for onco is Tata uh, Memorial, GCR, and the band. And more or less, you say Kidwai and RDR. These are the third four that we go. But each of them have their pros and cons. I won't say you have to choose your poison because everything is ultimately, some, some, some things are good, some things are bad everywhere. As I can imagine. And uh, so what was the exactly your preparation format? Uh, do you, yeah. let's for example, group discussions or did you do only yeah. MCQ to go back? Yeah. So for, for, for everyone who's starting out, I would say that base is always for NEAT specifically. And I is a different ballgame altogether. For NEAT specifically, the base always starts from the textbooks. If you're not at Bailey, you're not, not at Sabiston, a bit of what's here and there, you're not going to crack it at all. You can go around doing MCQs, giving tests. All those really matter a lot, but they matter only and only if you have formed a good base around your textbooks and around your concepts. So, Bailey, a must for everything cover to cover. Abyssin, obviously, you pick 
a few things here and there but the base from that so i started off reading those things and gradually moved on to doing mcqs and tests and all that but you have to have your concept strong yeah so uh, dr sulay uh, how do you think you should go about between textbook and mcq when do you start how do you go about uh, you know you know combining both of these uh, what was your method yeah, yeah. so uh, Firstly, need is basically based off MCQs. So you need to know MCQs, but you can't go around only doing MCQs. You have to have a concept strong. Pick one textbook, pick whatever comfortable with it, Bailey or Sabiston. I would say for most of the guys, pick Bailey, start with Bailey, read those things in the same time frame, the similar time, next day, a few days after that, whatever you find, file comfortable because a lot of us, most of us are working. So we can't go around reading and doing MCQs on the same day. But in the same time frame, do those MCQs, go back to your basics, back to the text you read for the first time and strengthen them. Preferably, if you can make notes, if not, at least strengthen the basics from the text. Coming to notes, I feel notes are a very important part. Do you make notes directly on the textbook or do you uh, uh, make a separate book? Uh, no, I, 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 I'm a very traditional pen and paper type of person. So I used to make notes from the textbook. Adding right. a points here and there from a, a few notes here and there, but primarily notes, yeah, from the textbook. Primary notes from the textbook. And, yeah. Uh, how much do you think the uh, the routine textbooks, uh, Sebastian and Bailey, have helped you in the super specialty uh, part of the paper? The questions. Uh, so Sebastian is a must for SS. So if you are thinking of scoring a good rank, maybe let's say in the top two fifty, three hundred or so, a good rank above that. Without subspeciality from Sabiston, it's not possible. It, it is a must. A few things from Schwartz, uh, breast, endocrine. Traditionally, these things have been referred from Schwartz. You still have to refer those things. But Sabiston, for all this list of pediatrics, plastics, cardiac, uh, neurosurgery, all those things, at SS level, you need to do Sabiston. Right. And general and surgery, Bailey. General surgery, Bailey. General I think surgery, Bailey. Okay. Bailey, more, Bailey cover to cover yes. more than enough, more than enough center surgery. That's excellent, yeah. And uh, yeah. I think Bailey has been significantly updated also. I think, you know, it has been, been. The, the new Bailey has at one point of time. Definitely, definitely. So I would say the 27th edition of Bailey, as, at least from the perspective of GI, was very inadequate. Now they have made it, if at least uh, somewhat at par with Sabiston. Obviously, Sabiston has a lot of more content, but it is very good now. So you can read that. That is also more than enough to get a good enough rank. Yeah, I think, you know, Sebastian is misleadingly, uh, people think even the ch small chapters are, uh, you know, small, but they actually put in everything in tables. They put exactly, so much in the exactly, tables. Exactly, exactly. You realize it's, it's actually much larger than what it looks like on paper. Yeah. So th th that's when the point of making notes for doing MCUs comes in, because a lot of things you think you've read, a lot of people say, yeah, I've read the whole Sebastian, i read the whole Billy, but still they're not able to recollect MCUs or solve MCUs because that's when you make notes, you put that, that extra effort and that changes when you make yourself, read yourself, that helps a lot. That is what I feel. Great. Did you find that there were some portions that you could have left out and what was your focused approach? Uh, do you think yeah. some things were so, must so, so for, for, for some, Yeah, so for someone uh, who, who uh, was a fresher, who's starting out, who's done a lot of time, I would say you need adequate amount of time for NETSS preparation is around around about three months, uh, in which at least one month or so you should leave everything if you're doing something, let's say you're doing a job somewhere, a SFIP somewhere, you should leave that, or at least put a leave and work as for the month. But three months you require to read the basics. And for everything, what's important, the most important thing is reading general surgery and reading subspecialties first. GI is very exhaustive. So a lot of times, even if you read, you put your best, you cannot cover everything from GI, even in these years need. Uh, the GI was not based on things that were given in, not completely based on Sebastian and Schwartz only. They're more practical oriented, the things you have worked in ward, the things you have seen in your emergencies, in your elective OTs. A lot of things were based on those things in GI. So that is very important. So you, you should read GI, but you should focus more on things that you've never seen, or maybe you have read inadequately like subspecialty than general surgery. GI is very large. You cannot finish at all. You can't finish at all. No, I think yeah. I agree with that completely. So what happened in INI uh, last time was that the GI paper was so hard that I think a lot of the students this time, they went awry. They started reading very, very complex books 
and i think in the yes. long run it's not a winning strategy what do you think uh, definitely 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 so for need i i would highly tell everyone do not go reading around sub specialty books like chakal ford like bloomgard like even gambel all those things a lot of times especially for gi and euro people go and start reading chakal ford and gambel because they see that it is inadequate or maybe there are questions that that are out of sub specialty shorts there may be those questions but those questions are really not important and most of the things somehow or somewhere else are given in sabestan if not in bailey so don't go there don't stretch yourself read bailey first if you are confident in bailey move to sabestan okay and did you have a group with you do you do, do group discussions or did you yeah yeah that that's 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 very important in the especially in the end part because you may read alone in the first read also the basics you can read around but then in the end part the last month and a half month you need people to support you around and that is very essential whatever choice is yours you want to do a group discussion you want to do solve mcqs together what we used to do solve all mcqs together but something or the other is essential in the end months or so because then only you can stay on track it's not so easy otherwise and what how did you find your group is this the same uh, coesars or did you uh, go online yeah, with the community yeah. no 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 those are the same people who were there uh, with me doing a session okay excellent and co- must be copgs also at the same time no so the- yeah copgs coesars yeah, yeah that's easier coesars how much did your training in kem help you in your uh, neat exam so yeah i mean i would say as i said a lot of questions were very based on the practical things that you do uh, i still remember there's a question on uh, i think so uh, they are asked the instrument and the instrument was used basically for clarinet domain that it was a hudson bridge basically and i don't think so uh, i had read that anywhere in daily or sabestan or shorts i don't remember and don't think it's been given over there but it's such a practical thing it was a basic instrument that you used during any decompression surgery and that's something that if you have attended any surgery you can easily answer a lot of gi questions a ton of gi questions are based on that rest question based on that this need was definitely different than the last one the last one was more theoretical more based on things that are picked up later from textbooks so that way km helped me a lot because we had seen a lot of basics go in and out the rounds really helped and so that is why i stress that a lot to my juniors also and it's not a lot of people think ke jaise neat pg mein pad liya tha padhne chalu kar do a lot of people think ke rod chalega round chalega that is not important that is what they feel but in neat as is not that way you have to do your award work you have to learn your basics and then only you can move on i think it was better this time that they did this because you know, it it puts focus Excellent, on yeah, the it, it, you've worked so hard definitely and, uh, definitely the feel are uh, not relevant otherwise and, uh, uh, so how did how did maro help you how did uh, your online lectures help you with your so, so so maro had a very good thing in the end that they had to started giving timely tests as always in tg also maro did to use to do that and so they did timely tests and those tests really helped a lot the question bank uh, i i would have not solved completely cover to code i had used general surgery modules almost extensively but the super sub specialty i was not able to finish because that was too much exhaustive but the tests were excellent i would say that and the tests really helped a lot especially in the end time where you don't know what you're missing out you have read everything you feel ke sab to pad liya fir bhi kaise marks nahi bad rahe and it was a it was a very good thing because i frankly i didn't get very good marks in the maro test but that helped me a lot because that helped me realize ke acha i have to work hard these are my flaws these are my strengths and that helped me strengthen and reach that especially the last four tests that maro had made was completely based on bailey and somewhat on sabis that is i'm telling bailey is very important so that really helped me i think that goes out to dr rohan you know he's done a he does an excellent excellent job. excellent excellent and very relevant you know i mean compared to what is going on these days what he expects exactly the exam to come thing is really so so i i had even given a few ini tests uh, in the me ini so those tests and the need tests were stark contrast as it should be those were based on whatever sub specialty it was i had given gi specialty so i knew that and these were complete bailey based nothing else and a bit service and shorts but primarily bailey as it should be okay oh, perfect perfect and uh, so what would uh, your choice be what what are you going into uh, uh i'm planning to take a surgical onco most likely at tata uh, yeah we'll yeah. see yeah i have a few friends yeah. there as well and uh, <laughs> guy who heads i even know the guy who heads neuro onco there is an, one of the top guys in in india and yeah. uh, uh do they i don't think they have an interview now anymore do they uh, no, no, no 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 interviews no, no, not no, no. Other, you know what it used to be a fun fact i had a senior who took up onco so the guy gave the interview thrice and they didn't take him in until he <laughs> used, he did an sr ship with them then received yeah, papers yeah, yeah then yes, that i understand 
I think this is much better now that this is much better. Not, yeah, they removed the subjective element, which so that's very good for uh, deserving candidates, uh, especially those who want to go. That's one of the reasons I didn't take Onco. Onco and Euro was. Much <laughs> And I thought, you know, <laughs> let's begin with life, you know. <laughs> actually, actually, it doesn't really matter. It's not, like, a lot of times, this is also very common. Everyone stresses out a lot. This branch, this GI, this Hong Kong, this Euro. It's not that important, I would say. It's, it's important, definitely. But it's not that rigid anymore in SSI. So whatever you like, whatever you like, take it up, whatever you get. And you feel it's adequate right now, take it up. It's not, not that rigid. Excellent, excellent. And yeah. uh, any any final message for uh, for people who are preparing from your side? What do you think? Yeah. So, so one thing, don't lose hope. Uh, take your time. Give yourself two, two and a half, three months, and read the basics. You'll definitely get a good score. You'll definitely crack the top hundred. It's very easy. And everyone in the top hundred is similar. So just stick to the basics. That's, that's, that's great. And how is your family? Yeah? Where your family stay? Ahmedabad. And that and that everyone's from Ahmedabad. Yeah. Family must be very happy, yeah. so congrats to them. I think yes, we should always in these places we should congratulate the family. Definitely, definitely. the support family. from family is immense, and yeah, so both of them are doctors. My dad is a surgeon, and my mom is an anesthetist. So. Oh, well, <laughs> that's perfect, no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now they'll add a. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> so nice talking to you, uh, Sulay, and the best yeah. of luck. And anytime. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm here. Okay. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And we have a community all across the country. Now we have people who, for the last uh, few times, have gotten through. So they might be your seniors. And so, yeah. brother, brother, you give us like, you know, <laughs> they listen to us anyway. I definitely let you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Congrats again, Sulay. And uh, so nice talking to you. Huh? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much.